Alright guys, so the video got copyrighted, so uh, I had to change literally everything, so uh, it, the reason why the videos are blurry are to avoid copyright. Enjoy the video. Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back to Tall Guy. You think your life is hard? Try being a 5'11 middle schooler. Anyways, so uh, let's just get into it, dog. We're going to be talking about Tall Girl. So basically, it's a movie that is... Personally, my favorite movie, and I rewatched it uh, just the other day so I can make this video explaining how amazing it is. So I'm rewatching Tall Girl, right, for this video, right? I'm uh, one hour and 12 minutes in. I have over 30 minutes of content, and there's still 30 minutes of the movie left. So let's get into it. Okay, so like, they're reading books in the library, and then they just begin to look at each other like, like, why are they doing that? Why, why, you don't have to look at me. Just read your book and go. That's, I don't want to look at you. Like, obviously, people look at each other, look, people look at other people around them whenever they're reading, because no one looks at the book when they're reading. What are you, an idiot? No, no one does that. They look at the people around them. That's, and then they, 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 I don't know why I'm doing this, but it has something to do with the book. There's a lesson in there somewhere. It's about alienation. Alienation, is that like, is that like Mexicans? I've only known you for like two minutes, but... Would you maybe wanna... This music got me copyrighted, so now I gotta do this instead. And I'm doing a melody that's already one, so I gotta change one up, so now my brother's talking. Okay, bye. Sixteen years old, six foot one and a half. This scene confuses me. Cause like, he starts to ask her out, and then, uh, she stands up, and he's like, Oh, oh my gosh, she's, oh, oh my gosh. And he just, he just, he just goes off, tells some random guy, Yo, did you see that girl, dude? I'm not even tripping, bro. She's like, she's like this size compared to me. Like, she's, she's at least an inch, she's at least an inch taller than me. Is that Kim Jong-un? I thought he was dead. Okay, why is their house, why is their school so big? The, are, are middle schools really like that? Do middle schools look like that with the colored windows and everything? I don't know, I'm homeschooled. You think your life is hard? I'm a high school junior wearing size 13 Nikes. Men's size 13 Nikes. Beat that. You think your life is hard? You have to deal with poverty and your house isn't literally like a mansion on the inside but it's really really tiny on the outside for some reason. I don't know why they did that. I didn't notice that until the second uh, second time I watched this movie. But their house is really s small on the outside. It's like the full house. Um, and it's like super big on the inside. They have like they have like 20 rooms at least in there. Everyone has their own room. There's a piano room. It's really weird, guys. I don't know. Maybe they're maybe I don't. It's the it's the TARDIS from Doctor Who, apparently. Beat that. This is my, my super, super hot, hot older, older sister Harper. Harper. She was Alabama spared the tall gene, but at least there is some balance yeah. in the genetic universe. She got the virus. She got Grandpa Larry's allergies. She got Uncle Larry's allergies. That little idiot, idiot dude. Ha. In your face! So, Yodi's uh, really big sad about something, I forgot what. So, basically her mom's uh, trying to cope with, is that? No. She's trying to sympathize? No. She's trying to relate to Yodi. And she's like, yeah, in high school, like, dang bro, these guys, they just like, they just try to date me. It was a lot of, um, there was a lot of rejection happening. Uh, no, the guys didn't reject me. No, I, I rejected them. 
But still, it was adversity, okay? Well, I was not popular with the girls in my class because I was so beautiful. I felt that on a personal level. This is Jack Dunkelman. And you may be asking, why is he carrying his books in a milk crate? Well, I've been friends with him for years and that's still a mystery to me. What's even more of a mystery is why he's crazy about someone twice his size. Good morning. Why is it a mystery that he uh, he likes someone twice his size? You're not even twice his size. Hi. So David Blaine called me? You'll never believe it. He just wants to know when you and I are going to make magic together. What? Make magic together? Together. Oh, 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 I would love nothing more than to answer your conundrum. Answer her conundrum? Excuse me? Uh, Jody's the victim, apparently, in the movie. But can we talk about Dunking Man? He's just like... So, like, at least I'm, like, 70% on your, uh, boy perfect boyfriend list. She's like, no, stupid. 50? It's a very... Nah. So, basically, he's like me, but better looking. At any moment, some taller than you, funny, intelligent, nice, perfect guy is just gonna walk through that door? I mean, it's, come on. It's crazy. Yeah, okay, the guy is decent looking. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know. Wait. He just like walks up to the teacher and he's like, move over, teacher. And just scribbles on the board. Like, do, do public schoolers do that? Like, can he do that? Is he allowed to do that? I'm going in. Tea check? Oh, huge piece of broccoli. Where? So, this girl named Kimmy Snitcher uh, basically wants that man, you know what I'm saying? She wants that uh, nice man, dog. The new uh, guy who does the Swedish person who just walked in. And now all of the girls are looking at him. He's like, dang, he fine. Taylor Swift, more like taller Swift. Mm. So in this scene, we see a uh, tall guy and black mom. Is he adopted? <gasps> it's a hummingbird. Oh my gosh. Um, but I, I need your help with something. How do I get a guy to notice me? Oh. My. <laughs> what Here. day is that? Um, the day that you finally come to your big sister and ask her about love? So Pretty Girl apparently knows a, a lot about, uh, love. To finally embrace the sublime splendor that is a woman. And to stop dressing like a, no offense, very large little boy. I'm going to extreme makeover the crap out of you. Okay. Who is he? He's an exchange student from Sweden. What did you just say? I, just, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say anything. Walk away. What are you doing? What are you doing with that knife? Have you ever had this conversation? I showed Jody. I said walk away! You know, I snagged an exchange student once. Diego. Diego? Is that my cousin? If you want a guy to notice you, you'd have to be willing to go all the way. I don't think you're willing to go all the way. Do you think you're ready to go all the way? I don't even know what you're talking about. And you just answered your own question. Okay, so apparently the movie promotes whatever this is. So, um, I'm ready to go all the way. Then let's get to work. Jesus, Harper! You almost killed me! Hey, bro, do you want this or not? She walks into the piano room, uh, don't know why. I think she was running away from Jimmy Snitcher or whatever. Piano room with the Swedish guy. The little dorks are freaking out over a musical, Guys and Dolls, I believe it is, uh, which I didn't know what that was the first time I watched this. Now I feel like I'm a theater kid because I know what that play is. That's a, not a play, a musical. Don't know the difference. A musical is uh, with music. <laughs> you like musicals? Oh my god. I do. And so they just start singing about love, because that's what one does in public school. Hold up. Did he just look at it, her? Uh... Her sweater? Fantastic. And uh, Kimmy Stitcher is apparently dating. Uh, a uh, tall guy now, and she's obviously annoyed because they're talking about how they love each other. Her boyfriend and her arch nemesis. Fantastic! Puts in subtitles, fantastic. 
Just in case you were wondering, no, it doesn't mean pretty cool. It means fantastic. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Had the talk last night, made it a fish. Sticky baby, would you mind giving mama a diet slice before class? Wait, what? I gotta rewind that. Sticky baby, can you give me a diet slice? What? What? Is this new upcoming rapper? What is this? Nicki Minaj? Oh, what's a diet slice? Is that like some public school thing? I don't know. I, 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 what? I don't know. Uh, so, tall guy invites, uh, tall girl, uh, you know, uh, hang out. Which I would never let my daughter do because, nah, uh you ain't going to no one's house. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh, nuh-uh. When COVID's done, I'm still gonna make my daughter stay six feet apart from all boys, uh, because I want to. What is his name? Dunking Man is actually a legend. He's just I like, you here. watching this? I'm gonna blend some uh, uh, smoothies together if you want one. Uh, like, hit me up. Like, I got the goods. Like, I got the plug. So uh, yeah, they kiss. It's like a one second kiss because it's it's Netflix and they don't want to show that. And uh, I'm not gonna show that because sometimes my nieces watch my videos, so uh, I don't want to pollute their minds. Also, he's dating someone and they just kiss. So like, what? It's hard to believe, but I care about you, and I just want to make sure that you don't get hurt. So yeah, they uh, get into an argument because uh, Johnny Boy over here at told uh, Stig that he should like focus on Kimmy and not Tall Girl because he secretly loves Tall Girl because that's what that people love each other in public school, uh, and then they'll start dating. They'll date for two days like Kimmy and Stig did, and then they'll break up for another girl because that, that's just that's just how it is. Uh, public school, am I right? I don't know that for a fact. I'm actually homeschooled, never been to public school, uh, so don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right, because homeschoolers are smarter. Some homeschoolers are smarter. I am one of them. Fight me! Uh, so this is my favorite scene. It's when Dunking Man just goes into her room, you know, while she's sleeping, as one does, um, and he just like picks up her stuff and is like, dang, I like that picture. That's a cool picture of us. Uh, yeah, so uh, how's it going? And then touches her hair and just stares at her while she's sleeping like, what the heck, dog? Oh my god! What are you doing here? Well, Harper said I could come in. Okay, yeah, come in. Not touch Jody's hair while she's trying oh. to sleep. But yeah, uh, kids, don't, don't do that. Because that could get you arrested. So she's like, oh my gosh, what are you doing sitting in my bed? As one does when there's someone sitting in your bed touching your head. So they, there's a big homecoming party and what's his name and Dunking Man and Liz start dating. Uh, wait, never mind, they just broke up. Uh, hashtag public school life. Basically, Tall Guy breaks up with Jimmy Snitch, Jimmy Kimmel and they, he was supposed to go to Pretty Girls pageant with uh, Tall Girl, but he totally like, dips as a public schooler would do and she's laying in bed crying you know she's reading a book like a nerd and with the glasses she's like yo uh, I thought you should see this video it's kind of like a vlog style video but it's not really and uh, she watches it on her iPhone X what were you and Jody talking about in the kitchen earlier seems kind of important uh I, I messed with her. Yeah, Kimmy, I messed with her and, and she was pissed at me. What'd you do? Okay, so she came over here the other day and she was saying that the reason that she left the escape room was because she couldn't stand to see me with, uh, with somebody else. So, Dunking oh, Man hey. sucks at hitting people with crates. Like, it's really not that hard. What are you, what, what, what you're so trash and everything. And they, they get in a fight because Tall Guy was like saying, like, <laughs> yo, Tall Girl's an idiot as public schoolers do often when they're uh, talking about this girl they love. And then they get in a fight with Dunking Man because he's a simp for Yodi and uh, she has absolutely no reaction to him getting punched in the in the video. Uh, so Timmy, Timmy and Tall Guy break up. Again. So she just walks onto the stage and starts talking about how tall she is. And then she just dips after a full 30 seconds of applause. Uh, she just dips. Then the ending scene is the scene with him sitting there uh, like he's Thanos waiting for the Avengers to come crawling back to try to kill him and everything. 
Uh, and like he just straight up kisses her right in, right by his mom. And I wish I was that brave. Just kid, just just kidding, just kidding. Not until marriage, am I right? Ha. <laughs> Cause that's a sin. Uh, so if I'm gonna rate this movie, plot three. Say that the execution was zero. Yeah. So uh, that was confusing. That was probably the uh, worst three hours of my life that I've ever spent on a video. So uh, yeah, leave a like. So the moral of the story is, if you're tall and good at almost everything, your life sucks.